Given a labeled tree on n vertices, we could deconstruct it by repeatedly removing the lowest numbered leaf to produce a decomposition sequence, where xi yi indicates we've removed vertex yi, which was adjacent to vertex xi. We've determined we don't actually need the last term. Is there anything else we could omit? Suppose x, y is in the sequence. We know we can't remove x until we've removed all but one vertex adjacent to it. So the only vertices we can remove are those that are not the first term of an ordered pair. This suggests the y values aren't necessary. So what if we only had the first terms of each pair? So suppose we have the first terms of our deconstruction sequence, and again we're omitting the last term. Let's see if we can produce the graph. Notice that we've removed six vertices, and so six edges. One edge is left, so we had seven edges, and eight vertices, which we can label one through eight. Let's go ahead and write those down. Now, note that we'll eventually remove vertices adjacent to vertices 2, 1, 3, 4, and 5. So, 6 is the lowest numbered vertex we can remove, giving us 2, 6 as the first step in our decomposition. Now we need to keep vertices 1, 3, 4, and 5. But 2 can be removed, giving us 1, 2 as our next step. We'll need to keep vertices 3, 4, and 5 for now. But we can remove 1, giving us the next step 3, 1. We need to keep vertices 4 and 5, but we can remove 3, giving 4, 3 as the next step. We still need 4 and 5, so we remove 7 using 5, 7. We need to keep 4, so we can remove 5 as 4, 5. This leaves vertices 4 and 8. So our last step would be for removing 4 adjacent to 8. And we'll produce the graph by reversing the deconstruction sequence. We'll join 4 to 8. Five to four. Seven to five. Three to four. 1 to 3, 2 to 1, and 6 to 2. All of this motivates the following. Suppose a label tree on n vertices is deconstructed by repeatedly removing leaves with the lowest numbered label. If the decomposition sequence is where our ordered pairs indicate the edge between xi, yi is removed, where yi is the leaf, then the perfect code for the tree is the x values of our sequence. And again, note we actually omit the last term of the decomposition sequence as unnecessary. Because there's only one choice for the lowest numbered leaf, the perfect code for a given labeled tree is unique. We can also prove that every sequence corresponds to a unique labeled tree. Since the number of vertices is a whole number, we can use induction. Since our sequence has n minus 2 terms, we'll start with n equals 3, so our vertices have labels between 1 and 3. And there are three possible sequences. 
the sequence consisting of just one, or the sequence consisting of just two, or the sequence consisting of just three. Each of these corresponds to a unique labeled tree. Now suppose any sequence of k minus two whole numbers, each between one and k, corresponds to a unique labeled tree. So consider the sequence of k minus one whole numbers, where our whole numbers are between one and k plus one. Since there are k minus one terms, but k plus one possible labels, then at least one label is unused. So if there's some y1 not equal to xi for any i, and this gives us the first term of our deconstruction sequence. Now consider the remaining terms of the sequence. While our xi's are up to k plus 1, we've eliminated one vertex, so there are only k vertices remaining. So temporarily, Relabel the vertices so the labels are between 1 and k, giving us a sequence. From our induction hypothesis, we know there is a unique labeled tree corresponding to this sequence. Restoring the original labelings, we can then add edge x1, y1 to produce a unique labeled tree on k plus 1 vertices. Put together, every labeled tree has a unique prefer code, and every sequence corresponds to a unique labeled tree. This means there are as many labeled trees as there are sequences. And because a labeled tree on n vertices can be formed from any sequence of n minus 2 numbers, each of which is between 1 and n, there are n to power n minus 2 such sequences. Consequently, there are n to n minus 2 distinct labeled trees on n vertices. Now, this is generally known as Cayley's theorem because it was originally proven by Cayley. But Cayley's proof is very different. This version, including the invention of the Proffer codes, is due to Heinz Proffer in 1918.